This is probably one of the most gratifying projects I have ever been on. Everyone that I encountered as far as the neighborhood, they loved that we were even actually doing something with the project. I have been in construction my entire life. Our first day walking in here, we were rubbing our hands together, excited about the opportunity to be able to take something in the condition that it was, and about 13 months later, turn it around, in my opinion, exceed everyone's expectations. My first experience with the property was uh, June of 2021 when we mobilized in to start the construction process. The building had been abandoned for in excess of 15 years. It was, it was in some pretty uh, dire shape here. We walked in, it was mountains of debris. It was just a lot of obstacles. Uh, we had ceilings caved in. We had a lot of things that we couldn't, we had to figure out how to get material out of the building. It was challenging initially, but with a little thought, you know, a little ingenuity, we were able to figure things out. Very early on, myself, my close Skender team, we will bring in all of our subcontractor foremen, all of the really the day-to-day -day bodies that are gonna make it all happen, convincing them that their success is our success, and create a group of people that really are trying to work towards something. It's a very hard group to stop. Skinner has a reputation just of doing great quality of work. Just to be a part of that and keeping that same drive, keeping that same momentum going every day for me is something that I, I look forward to every single day. One of the biggest things right now that Skinner wants to say, hey, look, we're gonna model what these guys done over here at Maywood, the time, delivering it on time. I gotta say, uh, I'm very proud of that for me, very proud. A lot of these historic elements needed to be preserved. We have everything from original elevator doors, from one of the original elevators that was built in the 20s. Uh, the area that we're sitting in now has a terrazzo flooring and a clay tile flooring that again was originally installed in 1927. The millwork that is above me and with the cornice work and the beams above us, steel windows, the, the depth of detail that we went to in order to make sure that this was period correct and, and as it was original was really mind blowing. I'm utterly amazed as I sit here today. I'm speechless. So I can only imagine what, what the residents feel as they come in and they actually take an occupancy here. And this project basically kind of puts a stamp to what you do in construction. I would say I'm most excited to come back and see when this is fully occupied, fully functioning, and to see a building that was in the shape and condition that we found it in uh, 18 months ago, and to see you know, in excess of 100 people living here, a couple dozen people working here, and having this entire facility kind of come back to life, if you will. I think that'll be pretty exciting. Yeah.